Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Well, it's 6.15 a.m. right now. I just uh, shut down my stream about half hour, 45 minutes ago, and uh, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, showcase, a, showcase a new team, and, um, and then a new and improved old team. Hopefully I'll remember to do that second one, but yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I just finished my stream, and I still have a pretty big agenda I have to get taken care of, but this is, this is one of the, one of the things, but you kind of get the idea. But anyway, um, like usual, I'm going to have some music going in the background. This is going to be Vermin Halls, um, the stench of the catacombs, I think it's called. Yeah, stench of the catacombs, so let me go ahead and fire that up real quick. Alright, so, so let me chase it down real quick. Uh, I think my media player froze up. Yeah, it froze up. So let me fix that real fast. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it is my boogers and snot team. <laughs> you you kind of you'll kind of find out why I call it that as you as you uh, start seeing the uh, seeing the team play. So, but yeah, um. Uh, this morning during my stream, I managed to grab a uh, Sycorax. Uh, just barely had enough diamonds to make her, so. Oh, elemental allies gain uh, one attack on armor every turn. Yeah, she's impervious. Uh, she gets three life at the start of every turn. Yeah, but uh, the big one, double a chosen color gem on the board, which is uh. She kind of works like a, kind of like Forest Troll, or any, pretty much any of the other trolls, except uh, she's got more options, and then create three more gems of that color. Um, give 32 life to all allies of that color. So, and then uh, we have Emeraldon. Gives uh, two magic to all green allies, one uh, matching green gems. It's an ability that's hardly ever going to be used, but if there's a whole bunch of green on the board, then yeah, you'll get an extra turn with that. Uh, Queen Beatrix, an all-time classic here. Um, Arcane, get some magic. Cleanses everybody on matching four gems. Um, and she puts out some green and brown gems, which Sycorax can actually use both. And then deal some true damage, but going back to Emeraldon. She's given two magic whenever you match green gems, so. And then, um, this is one of those where Hero is that Hero here is actually kind of the odd man out. I mean, you need the elementalist class to be sure. And then um, there's a fair there's a, a fair amount of options you can work with. I I prefer using a Boreal Crystal unless I know that I can end a match before eight turns, like before the uh, Leaf Storm falls off. So yeah, you're... Ideally, you want to keep a Leaf Storm up at all times. And a... Uh, oh, and uh... It does entangle as well. So. Yeah, I made the mistake of, um, of uh, using all my, uh, victory points, and time's running out, so, but let me, um, let me do a, let me do a demo run. Controller is unplugged. I gotta turn it back on. Grab that. Okay, so. 
so... And then, um... I can't remember her name, like... Fetch Banu something. But yeah, she could, um... She could put on, like, a whole bunch of, uh, gems. Um, of, uh, one of your, uh, one of your allies' colors. Or you, you pick an ally, and she creates a whole bunch of gems of the of that color, or a, one of the colors they have. Um, it was my, um, True Wishes team. I don't know if you guys know about that one. I don't want to back out of it right now, but basically, what you'll be doing is you'll be, um, you'll be doubling green. Remember, as you're um, as you're doing this, you're increasing magic to everybody. But okay, where was it? She increases magic. Um. Oh, there it is. Give 48 life to allies of that color, so you're also healing them as well. But the way my true wishes team played is you kept on doing this over and over and over and over. And if you notice, you're healing them big time and you're also increasing uh, the damage. So the idea is just to keep building this up and up and up and up until eventually, if you have the patience, you'll one-shot the entire enemy team. And when I, the way I've been doing it, if it's if the amount of gems is 12 or less, hold off. Hey, 40%. And now uh, 600, 587. idea um let me I, I should still have it yeah blue wishes it was kind of centered around the same thing create nine gems of their mana color and repeat two more times for random allies you would cast her I think it was on him I think you would um you would cast it on the top on him, just just to give him some uh, extra stats, open that up. Uh, maybe it's magic. But yeah, I haven't played this team in a very very long time, but yeah, you would you cast Shaw here over and over on him. Boogers and snot works the same way. And then one thing I do want to do, now, like I said, this is my um, default weapon. Um, one other weapon that I tried out, you're gonna have to, a little heavy on the green, cause he's gonna, he's gonna mana block the bottom three. Because, because with the glaive here, it uh, entangles, 
and does a uh, and does a leaf storm as well. And then um, it can also convert brown gems to doom skulls. And if you don't have enough brown gems, or if you think you can get away with uh get away with uh you doing it, use uh Sycorax and um go for brown gems instead, or can always cast queen as well. some uh, more brown gems but didn't work what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set it up in such a way so the combination of skulls and brown gems results in at least a poor match so, we got it not once but twice And then, um, another weapon, um, now this one here, uh, because I made the mistake when I first got it, um, some odd, some odd months ago, or I'd say probably at least a year ago, I made the st mistake of maxing this out, so, hexed, this, this can really fuck things up for you, so, there's a certain way you gotta play with this one. the same problem here as you do with uh with the glaive it uh basically mana blocks the bottom the uh, other troops yeah again due to the way hexed works you don't want to cast it on the top troop because then it's like a 10 percent chance of 10 percent chance of that spell being totally wasted when he uh transforms into a giant toad so you want to cast it on like pretty much anybody here um just look at the board see what um see what all gems are out there like i see some purple and yellow there so we'll cast it on her you can see there's no storm like at all so now you gotta get random you're gonna get a uh, random colors dropping oh and um one thing I did forget to mention uh, because uh, because he's now green He's gonna get the magic buff from that. And he's gonna get the healing from her. Yeah. Whereas uh with the arboreal crystal, that wasn't gonna happen. And then another weapon. Yeah, Wanda Stars. I mean it's green, so but again, um, it doesn't trigger a it doesn't trigger a leaf storm. So And then not to mention the weapon itself, it has the potential of royally backfiring on you. Basically giving your opponent the whole entire board. I 
gotta check something more fast. time okay and uh, while I'm here it, and it doesn't always have to be just green it could also be blue too just whatever you have the most of I got between green blue and brown but mostly it's gonna be green As you can see, as you can see, because the wand is also green, he's getting the he's getting the magic and the healing as well. I mean, they're all at like 400. I think um, I think I was during my stream I was doing PVP. I think I had um I had the hero as high as a thousand. I think that's the cap. But on the downside, I only have two more turns of Leaf Storm. have 200 basically I gotta get her to I gotta get her to 300 in order to one shot everybody Just gonna go ahead and do it anyway. I gotta get the Alhis Storm back up. There, finally. Um, again, my default weapon is actually uh, going to be, but again, he's not going to, he's not going to get any of the healing 
or the magic buff or the magic boost that everybody else is gonna get, but on the upside, um, there's no green in here, which it, he's not gonna mana block everybody else. Still gonna keep uh still gonna entangle. And it's gonna start a le it's gonna keep the leaf storm going. Then I'll do uh, I'll do one more battle, and then um, I'm gonna, then I'm gonna showcase my uh, second team. So we have 14 brown. Let's uh, let's do that. Okay, so the second team I want to showcase um, is actually an old all-time classic, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm running out of slots, so I had to use my um, I had to replace my Thrask team with this, but old classic standby. In fact, let me go ahead and um. Back in the day, um, there was actually uh, two iterations of this team. The first one, I believe I called it... Because at the time, I thought pinball was freaking random. You know, it's, you know, back when, uh, when I was basically an amateur at pinball, I was basically just, you know, slapping the ball around. Um, the concept of controlling the ball, actually, you know, being patient... You know, trying to be accurate, etc. It didn't really sink in, and that's this is where my head was at at the time when um, I think it was a uh, DJ Screw that actually um uh, showed me this team. I mean, frustrating as hell, but back then, also my stats weren't that high. You know, you know, magic was you know, magic level wasn't you know wasn't that high, like really low that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm kind of going off the trail here, but. Yeah, but this is the first name I had for it. And then, um, the name I switched to, once I got better at pinball, the name I switched to, three matches, because it's, it's often what I say whenever, whenever Queen Beatrix or Vinoxia, they create their gems, but you don't get a single four match out of them. You don't see your... That's what you're doing. Three matches. Three matches to your opponent. So. But, um. There, I got it. I gotta turn that down a bit. But, I think, um. I actually did look at my, um. My, uh, video. All my, uh, videos on YouTube. I did do another, uh, video of this. Like, I want to say February of this year. So, I've improved quite a bit since then. So, and I've been playing a, I've been playing this team for doing my vault runs. So, oh God, what an improvement! Oh, and got a little ahead of myself. For those that don't know, Vinoxia, she pretty much does the same thing that Queen Bee does. Has an arcane, gains a magic when, when you cast a spell. Creates nine and green blue gems. Queen Bee uses both. 
and then deals 41 true damage. On Late Queen Bee, it's a flat number. 41 to all enemies. And I think I said this during my stream too, because uh because my magic my magic rating has gotten higher over the months. Minoxia is now a much better finisher. So One more of these. Yeah, and it gets pretty noisy at the end of this album. It's the only part of the album I don't like. Hey, 40% checked in. Let's do one more. So, really taking a trip down memory lane here. This is a team that carried me for a long time. It was my main. Otherwise, uh, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, just going to go ahead and call it good here. I'm um, just going to get back going on my uh, blog post, my stream video, and all that. So, yeah. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.